Wrath of the Lich King Classic has just been confirmed to release this year, in 2022, and with that announcement there comes a question. What will happen with Warmain once Wrath of the Lich King Classic releases on retail? Probably everybody playing on Warmain is wondering right now. For the purposes of this video, if I say retail or classic, I mean Wrath of the Lich King Classic on the official server that will be released sometime later this year. So. These are my thoughts and educated guesses after playing on the WoW private service scene for almost 10 years. TLDR, Warmain will not die. It will not close and it will live on. Okay, now you can turn off the video. No, 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 I was just kidding. Let me explain. Warmain is not a new server. Majority of the population playing there have memories going back almost a decade. Their beloved characters in which they have been farming the best gear, achievements, mounts, but also many great friends, some of which will decide to not go over to Retail's Classic for various reasons, they're all there, on Warmain. People have a history on the server, nostalgia. These things will drive them back, even if they leave for Classic at the beginning. And that's gonna be one of the most confusing times for many people, the very first days after the launch of Wrath of the Lich King Classic. Because there will be a big hype. Most people will go and at least give it a try so they will leave whatever server they have been playing on up until that point. But the keyword here is try. Many people will try it and not like it for various reasons, and so they will go back to where they left off. Whether it's Warmain, Freaks, Firestorm, Apollo, Stormforge, or even Retail Shadowlands. That is why it's gonna be confusing at the beginning. Because most people will fluctuate and will be testing the waters and trying to find out whether they like Wrath of the Lich King Classic so much that they would stay playing there full time and abandon their old characters on the other servers or come back after a long break of not playing WoW or even come back after 13 years to experience their favorite expansion on the official service once again. Most people will at least try it and that will make it suddenly seem as if the Wrath of the Lich King servers, including Warmain, suddenly died. Because even if everybody doesn't leave for Classic, it will still be a massive blow to the server's population. We could see with the launch of the new Frostmourne 3 just a few days back, how many people were suddenly interested in it. Compared to the previous Frostmourne realms released 1 and 2 years ago, this was by far the biggest launch, as far as the population goes, of all of them. And the biggest change that made so many people interested in playing on it was the upcoming release of Wrath of the Lich King Classic on retail. It won't take long until people start realizing the shortcomings of Wrath of the Lich King Classic, however. It will be during the very first month, even the first week, that many people will leave Classic and never come back, and the population on private servers will again start increasing slowly. Now, what would be the reason for players to not like Classic on retail? One of the biggest reasons for most players will be the leveling requirement. We're all used to the boosted XP rates, usually times 7 XP rates for most players from Warmain, but also from other Wrath of the Lich King private servers. Times 7. Try to think about how much that is. You will soon realize how impactful it is to your player experience when you start leveling on Classic. There'll be many people that will not have the patience to level a single character. Additionally, they will just think, oh, why would I waste my time leveling here if I have my character or even multiple characters on Warmain? And not just any characters, but fully geared, best-in-slot characters where I can just one-shot noobs. I can just go back and play the same game there, just as I'm used to. Being used to something is another important point. Different community, the NA slash EU distinction, Imagine you have a guild, or even a few friends that you've played with for a long time, and suddenly you realize some of you are Europeans and some are Americans. Of course any of you can create an account in any region, but you will all have to agree on the same region, otherwise your friendship is likely over. And what is a game, especially an MMORPG, without friends? Another thing many people will miss on Retail's Classic compared to Warmain are many custom features, especially on the Frostmourne realm. Things like time walking dungeons, increased professions and reputation gains, mythic dungeons, and even the donate options for those that like to take advantage of the system. Not just buying gear, but also appearance or faction change of your character, selling and buying characters on the website 
which makes it easier for people to switch classes if they don't feel like playing their class anymore and want to try something different. The entire Blackrock realm offers a unique PvP experience. There's no leveling requirement. You have a 3v3 hour every week on Sunday when the 3v3 arenas are popping and much more that you won't get on Wrath of Lich King Classic. And don't forget that you have to pay a monthly fee on Retail's Classic if you want to play there. Although you will likely have to pay 10 euros for your premium account on Warmain just to skip the queue upon logging in, it is still only 10 euros for a lifetime compared to 11 to 13 euros every single month, which for many players, especially the younger generation, is a deal breaker. The launch of Wrath of Lich King Classic might actually be beneficial to players on Warmain and their experience. We will likely see changes on Warmain too. Wrath of Lich King Classic is about to get rid of the arena teams to make it easier for people to play PvP without the necessity of having to change teams and start from scratch every time you switch an arena partner. Warmain might draw an inspiration from this and introduce this change to its service as well. Warmain will be affected by the launch of Wrath of Lich King Classic it will never be the same as it was before, but there will be many changes for better. So, to conclude, I say that Warmain will live on. The population numbers will suffer from the very start of Classic, but many people will come back after they find out how many things that they are missing out and are annoyed by on Raytel's Classic. Warmain has far higher population than any other private server, comparable maybe only to WoW Circle, which is also a Wrath of Lich King server, but Russian so they can afford to lose some of it and still be the leader among private servers worldwide. And even if Warmain was dying, I believe the staff would take measures necessary for it to be still an attractive choice for players.